Oh, my fair warrior. Thank you, <laughs> It gives me wonder as great as my content to see you here before me. Oh, my soul's joy. If after every tempest come such calms, may the winds blow till they have wakened death and let the laboring bark climb hills of seas. Um, could you tell sky. me how you actually Duck landed this, this uh, role? How did I land this role? Um, Ron Daniels was the director, the director of this. Um, he and I have known each other for longer than we, we care to admit. Uh, so a few years ago, we had started talking about a possibility of doing Othello. We wanted to do it at a place which really celebrates Shakespeare. And there's no better place than, than this theater in, in this country for it to happen now. And I think it, it's really timely for, because of what is happening in the, in, in the political arena and in the social arena outside of uh, the theater because of this whole idea of the outsider is, is really something that I think we need to, you know, have, have, a, have a discourse, have a, have a conversation about. So I think it, it's the right time for the right and the right place to do it. Now, taking it to Othello, I think that's again a, an interesting timing because Othello in, in the play also deals, deals with this idea of always being looked at as the outsider and how much of, of him assimilates into the society that he's living in and how much does the society accept him in, in the society that, that he's living in. Um, and that, that to me is, is a very intriguing and int interesting question. So it is okay if you, if you listen to the, to the text of the play, Iago, who is the, the villain, uh, uh, antagonist in, in the play never says that he hates he hates Othello. He always says, "I hate the Moor," which is a very telling hint that it's not just the person that he hates. He hates everything that this person represents. Uh, and if you further look into the play, you look at the fact that it is okay for this Moor, this general to fight the wars for the Venetians, but God forbid if he falls in love with a woman of that society, the only way he could have done that was by witchcraft. That he has nothing else to offer as a human being except the utility that he provides to the society. And those are interesting questions. I mean, those are questions that we're dealing with even today. You know, uh, that we are this idea of, I mean, bringing it back, the idea of, you know, can Muslims be Americans? You know, what is, what is the lit litmus test for that? And what is a litmus test for Othello to be part of this society? So, I mean, I think those are, those are things that we need to be addressing from all different angles.